Yes, get ready. We are going to start this session shortly. Go through this lecture seriously. It's a very, very important session. It's a writing workshop. Hello and welcome to Seven Sentinels. This is Grand Master Class, and I am Peter Simon with you. Today we are conducting a writing workshop. This is a letter for uh, doctors, but uh, the pattern is the same, sentence structure is the same, vocabulary is same. Mr. Barry Jones, workplace assessment, writing task, medicine, sentence structures. This is the first page. Every day I'll be pinning this new things like this. We can go through them. This is today's video. Okay. This is page one. One A. Go through the case notes.
page one B. Go through this. Second page. Page two A.
So we have the fourth one. Slide. Yes. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to show how to make sentences. What is important, I'll transform this lecture in a different style. All tools, organize page, one and two, extract. So I have taken only the case notes now. So this is file, save as, yeah. Only case notes. Yeah, only case notes without answer and without any extra pages, only two pages. You can see that. I'm going to transform it in a different style. Okay, from where what you will get, I'll show you. Now, this is a PDF, first page, second page. Okay, take your notebooks and be ready. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm changing, saving it as doc. Word document. Yeah, only case notes. Welcome to the new students. Sakina Ahmed, a new student, a nurse. She has joined the session today. Let me see. And uh, who is this iPhone? iPhone. Yeah, she has registered today. Sakina Ahmed, she paid 15,000 for one month. She is from Pakistan. I'm proud of uh, these students who um, are serious. She has already booked her test and she is very serious. She has registered just now. She has paid the fees. And there is another one. Uh, doctor. What's the name? Doctor, doctor, doctor. Where is this doctor? Shole. Shole means fire. Yeah. Srinidhi Selvaraj, Sakina. So this is uh, Sakina Ahmed. Hello, Sakina Ahmed. Hello, good evening, sir. Yeah, good evening. This is your first session. And uh, your schedule will be done. You will have to do two speaking sessions with uh, the interlocutor. And uh, one or two sessions you will do with me because you have an exam next month. That is, uh, what's the date? What is the date of your exam? 4th May. 4th May. So, yeah. 2024. Yeah. So we have our interlocutor coordinator, come interlocutor. 
coordinator is there. Uh, um, sorry. She will contact you tomorrow. Yes. Uh, if you're comfortable, Mira, you can unmute. You can introduce yourself. And there is another lady. What's the name? Yeah. So this is the first day for uh, Shakina Ahmed. She is from which place? Shakina? From Pakistan, sir. No, now currently in? Now currently I'm in Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia, okay, fine. So welcome to our platform. Attend regularly and make us feel proud. You have seen many students scoring 400 plus. So I want you also to target 400. Don't target 350 like every other person does. You target 400, right. Um, so this is a, a medical letter. Share screen, yeah. So only case. Um, save as. Word document. So we are going into a different level now because Simon sir has uh, learned uh, many new techniques. Actually, I learned these techniques before also, but uh, I did not apply. Yeah, now my screen will be different. It's night mode and it will be pretty good for you people to learn. And uh, yes. Right, now see what is important or what is not important, let us uh, see here. So you have to select. So Mr. Barry Jones, important. Then date of birth, important. So this is important. Age of 46, this is also important. You can use uh, whenever you want. Uh, this you will write in the main address. And then address is this. Yeah, this is, uh, you are a doctor. You are a doctor. What are the things which you go into the letter I'm Marking that Newtown Medical Clinic. Okay. Mr. Barry Jones is a regular patient of yours. You should know. Keep in your mind. Assume that today's date is 30 August 2019. Yeah. Only that uh, you can see them there very clearly. Then, so reason for presenting wants to return to work after back injury. Okay. And employer is supportive. So that means he's a very good individual. He's a hard worker and the government is recognizing his hard work and giving him all the options. Right. So he's married. And then three children. Four. He works as a, his work. This is important because his workplace resumption. So it is important. He drives forklift in a large warehouse. Okay, and his duty requirements are prolonged sitting and occasional heavy lifting. Okay, all right. So next uh, presentation, why is he presenting? Hurt back, hurt his back. Okay, when, when he was lifting, while he was lifting a heavy box off a floor at work. So now, Right. Pain is worsening and diagnosis is lower back strain and it is severe. So you can say severe lower back strain. All right. Treatment. Exercise, walking, pain. Very tiring, okay.
10 minutes per day. Okay. So, right now, here you're writing a letter to Miss Graham. Occupational therapist, second line. So, and uh, this instead of Miss Graham is half name. So, we'll take Miss Jane Graham. This is full name. Yeah, Miss Jane Graham, occupational therapist, Newtown Occupational Therapy, 10 Johnston Street, and Newtown. So these things will come here. So this is the first point for us. So here, this is why I prefer a Word document. So this, these are the five things I'm copying and placing them here. Yeah. So this is the address. Number one, the address. Yes. So address you are going to write in five lines. No need of comma, no need of anything. Newton Occupational Therapy. 10 Johnson Street. Write in full. Enter Newton. Yeah. And one thing is missing, that is occupational therapist. So it will come after. This is the professional name. Yeah, this is how you will write. Then number one is here. You are taking number one from here. And number two is the date. We'll take from here. 30th August 2019. This is number two. The date. Many people write the date first. Okay. So, but uh, now officially the address comes first. Even before the letter starts, address comes on the cover. So, that's why address is preferred. You want to see the address. Okay, why Simon Sir is telling like this? No, Simon Sir is not telling. You see the official OET papers. There you can see here. So, which is first? And which is next? You can see here very clear. Okay, which is first? And which is next? You can see here. So, address first. Date next. Not only this, any letter you see, it is the same pattern. This is official OET, medical sample. Okay, so you can see any letter like that. You can see nursing sample letter. So you want to see here, you can see. So what is first? Address first, then the date. If you want to follow your own styles, that is up to you. I'm not telling you to follow my style. This is not my style. This is official OET standard sample letter style. You see in every letter, it will be the same thing. So it's better to follow that one by all means. Okay. It is better to follow by all means. So, next. So, that's it. Yeah. So, that is number two. So, take this one and write in full. Sometimes it will be given there. Sometimes it will be given in the end. So, this is the right. So address, the date. So try to see from where you'll get what information. Okay. So now next to number three. Third one is salutation. Salutation based on the address, the first line. Miss Jane Graham. So that only will come here. So 
This is number three. Number three. And uh, here, sorry. Number three is the salutation. Okay. Number three is salutation. So this is how you'll write. But here you'll say dear, miss, then will be removed, Graham, and put a comma. Dear Miss Graham. Dear Miss Graham. Okay. So that is how you're supposed to write. What happened to very few students? Here are the one second, give me a little time. Yeah, dear Miss Graham, that's what you'll write. This is number, right. So I'm showing you this one from where it is coming, okay. So this will be presented like this. Okay. I'm showing it separately so that you will not get confused. So this is the address. Address you'll get from here. Okay. So uh, within the arrows, you know, within the points, you can notice there. So those are the additions we have done. Okay, from where we are getting. Next, number four. Number four is the regarding line. Regarding your writing, regarding whom? Your writing, regarding whom? Yeah. So here it is. You will take from here. Yeah. Okay. So here, the regarding line. Yeah. So, number four, the subject line. The subject. So let me paste it here itself. The subject line, number three, number four, the subject line. Okay, all right. So let me take here, that is better. Yeah, number four, the subject line. We get from here. So regarding. Regarding. Column. Regarding. Mr. Barry Jones. Yeah. Mr. 
Gary Jones, comma. So you have two options here. You can use two options. One is you can write the date of birth and you can write the age, anything. So if you want to write, if date of birth is given, it is important that you write the date of birth, 11 June 1973. If date of birth is not given, if date of birth is not given, then you will write like this. Okay. If not given, date of birth is given. So you write like this. If the date of birth is given, you write like this regarding Mr. Barry Jones, aged 46. If the date of birth is not given, so you have to remember, if date of birth is given, how to write? If date of birth is not given, then how to write? So, I think you got some points now. So, we have got four points so far. We have got four points so far. The first one is the address. The address. First one is the address. We got it from here. Miss Jane Graham, occupational therapist, Newton, occupational therapy, 10 Johnson Street. These shortcuts are there. You have to write in full. New town. Many people write Newton. It's not Newton. It's New Town. Okay. It's New Town. Yeah. So, next, second one is the date, date you will get in the beginning, okay, here it is, 11 June 2000, 1973, not this, sorry, 30th August 2019, you got from here, assume that today's date is. Sometimes you will not give. Then you should go to the last visit and take it from there. The last visit is here. 30 August 2019. 30 August 2019. So 30 August 2019. You can see. Okay. Next number three. Salutation. Salutation you take from the address first line. First line you will take the salutation. So you can see here. The first line is Miss Jane Graham. So take Miss and take Graham because she is about 18 years of age because she is a professional. Okay, nobody can get a job, official job if they are not 18 years at least. So Miss Graham, dear Miss Graham. Okay, dear Miss Graham. Then next, we have the regarding line, subject line we call it. The subject line we'll get from here. Subject line will get from here. Mr. Barry Jones, date of birth, you have to write like this. Okay. Here you have to write date of birth, D O B colon. So you have to write like this. If the date of birth is given, otherwise you have to say aged 46. These are the two best options you can do. Because those are the things which are given always in official OET papers. You want to see the sample, you can see there. So date of birth, you can write in the second line or you can write in the first line, same, no problem. Yeah. So you can write like this, date of birth, or you can write side by side, which you can get, comma. You can see the other samples, they will be there. I, can, not, I need not show you many samples now. There are samples already you can use. Next to sixth one. Sixth one. Fifth one is the body of the letter. Fifth one will be the body of the letter. Number five. The body of the letter. Okay.
fifth one will be the body of the letter. Next, sixth one will be depending on the salutation. Sixth one will be depending on the salutation. So, how it will be? If it is dear Miss Graham, name of the person is given, then you write yours sincerely. Okay, number six is the salutation, sorry, closing remarks. Yeah, All right. Then you will say what yours sincerely. Your sincerely you will write if the name of the person, if the personal name is given, if the personal name is given, what is the name, personal name, Graham is a personal name. Graham is a personal name. So if the personal name is given, you are sincerely. Then next, there is another option also. Yours faithfully. When do we write yours faithfully? If the personal name is not given, if the personal name is not given, remember that. Okay. So, hope you understand what I am teaching you here. So, that's it. So, this is sixth one, the closing remarks. The closing remarks. These are the very important things you have to notice. So this is number six, this is number five, this is number three, this is number one. So seven components we have in all. This is number four and this is number two. Now the last one, seventh component. Seventh component you will get from here. Okay. Right from here. Seventh component is sender's particulars, number seven. So the sender's particulars, number seven. The sender's address or particulars. Okay, fine. Let us think like that. So, so who is writing this letter? You are a doctor. So, doctor is writing. So, leave two lines. So, doctor. Okay. Number one, doctor. After writing doctor, your doctor where? Newtown Medical Clinic. Okay. A doctor from Newtown Medical Clinic. Newtown Medical Clinic. A Newtown Medical Clinic is in Newtown. Okay. Newtown Medical Clinic is in Newtown. You remember. Name of the hospital will be in the name of the town or city itself. So, Newtown Medical Clinic will be in Newtown. So, that's it. Is there any other department here? No. You are a doctor at Newtown Medical Clinic. Mr. Barry Jones is a regular patient of yours. So, all these are finished. So these are the seven components you have to write. Now the six components are done. Now we have to go for the letter. How to write the sentences? So far so good. I hope you understood everything. So the six components you understood, only the main body is remaining. That is number five. The, main, the body of the letter. The body of the letter. All others are finished. So First one is called A. A is the preliminaries or we can say the preliminaries. The preliminary part, the initial part. Or you can say the, mm, the starters. When you go for a dinner, you say first one is the starters. Okay, then B is the main course. And C is the deserts. So before the main course and after the main course. So one to four, you can see there. Okay, in the beginning. 
and six and seven is the ending, and the body is in the middle. So now let us uh, learn these seven parts here. So let us recall all these points here. Number one, so the seven components. All bringing together. First one is the address. Second one is the date. Third one is the salutation. Fourth one is the subject. And fifth one is the body. Sixth one is the uh, closing remarks. Seventh one is the senders, particulars. So everything is clear here now. So everything is done. Only one thing is not done. What is that? That is the body. So only we are left with this one only. So remaining part. This is the most important. Others are also important. Okay, pending one. So, yes. Okay. So, the main course, we can say this. Now, we'll go into the main course. So now, till now, I have told you many things. So, I've given you the rules when to write your sincerely, when to write. Uh, yours faithfully and when to write the date of birth and when to write the age. So date of birth is given, write date of birth. Date of birth and age both are given, write date of birth because date of birth is more important, it's specific. Okay, it's specific. And if date of birth is not given, then only you write age. Otherwise, everything fine. So, I hope uh, you understood what all I explained till now. So, uh, Jasmine Fiola Cruces, welcome to the platform. You are going to join this month. So, Dr. Zenda has given you the reference. You are a group of four from uh, Nigeria and Zambia. He was asking me for you. So, welcome to the platform. Right. So, now you can give your feedback till now. Feedback. How was that? So that we can go into the main part. I'm giving you just one minute or one and a half minute. So what you, new things did you learn? Yeah. Write in one or two sentences. How is this session beneficial for you? Is it different from the others or is it some beneficial? Any new things you have learned? Yes, please. Give your feedback in one or two sentences, please. Yeah, in writing only.
Iya. Today is an orientation session. You can invite your friends if you want. So new batch is commencing on the 1st of April. Yeah, so now we are going to the main course. We are going to the main course now. Okay, in the main course, in the main course, the body of the letter, the body of the letter. body of the letter. So you have five paragraphs. A, introduction. B, main body paragraph one. The main body paragraph two. The main body paragraph Three. The conclusion. Then, this is how you are going to write. Okay. Introduction. You are going to write the purpose. Why you are writing the letter. And then, conclusion. Reiterate the purpose in a different style, a okay, differently. Okay. The purpose of the purpose of writing the letter. Why are you writing this letter? It will be very clear what your expectations. The purpose of writing the letter, your expectations, what you want them to do, what you want them to do, that's important. Okay. And then, in the first paragraph, body paragraph one, okay.
yeah so in the last paragraph um what the receiver should do that means uh so how to guide him okay the first one focus on the patient here focus on the patient's condition the patient's condition what is he doing what is he doing what is his situation and everything the next one is this is the doctor's role that means your role this is the writer what you did writer of what the doctor's role who is writing the letter okay who is writing this letter writer okay what you did okay here the patient did what he did and here uh, the receiver okay the receiver who is the occupational therapist occupational therapist role what he should do what he did in the past what you are doing now and what he should do in the future so this can be considered as so this can be considered as past the past this can be considered as the present okay so present means the now this is the future next next what they have to do so before now and after before now and after you can say before now and after so i wanted to be it in the single line so that's why i gave and you like this so you can see before what is his actual situation now under your treatment what is his situation and next after your treatment you are sending him to the occupational therapist for what what you what he has to do what he did before what you are doing now what he did before and why his condition was like that in paragraph 1 that means patient about him and second one is the doctor so what you did what you did okay during treatment before treatment during treatment and after treatment treatment is done my role is done now you have to give physiotherapy that's all so that's it so you understand how the division is done you understand how the division is done dr sholay dr sholay tube welcome to this platform you are this is the first day for your class after registering so welcome attend the classes regularly and uh, improve on a daily basis dr sholay is from iran but currently in saudi arabia yeah right hello sorry yes doctor sholay yeah if you are comfortable you can speak can you introduce yourself um, my name is dr uh, dr sholay dr sholay tobai okay right so my name is shole and i am a doctor or i am dr shole you cannot say my name is dr shole because your name is not doctor yes you are right sorry so I you have to uh, it's okay it's okay we are learning we are learning it is my responsibility to correct you when and where it is needed okay fine so keval shah is a doctor hanifullah very good after long time you are back okay so this is how you will write the body of the letter any doubts no thank you no sir yeah 
anybody any doubts is it clear this is called a uh, organization of the letter this is called organization of the letter if you have any doubts you can ask me so before your treatment during the treatment and after the treatment before the treatment the patient's condition was like that past during the treatment present i am improving the condition from like this to like this after my treatment i am sending it to him to you so what you have to do is your therapy and other things you have to tell them that's how it is yeah so now let us go to the case notes once again study the case notes so here it is the case notes go through the case notes for a second for a one minute because we are going to write the sentences go through this where will what go all of you can mute Second page.
Yeah. So now you are going to write the purpose of the letter. So first we will be writing the purpose of the letter. What is the purpose of the letter? Yeah. Purpose of the letter. So you can say many different ways. I I am writing to a request. So this is how you can write. Number one. Or you can say thank you for seeing. Thank you for seeing. Or you can say Mr. Jones, who, so, you can write in diff different, different ways you can write, okay, you can write in different, different ways, so I am writing to request, what are you requesting, what are you requesting here, you are requesting what, you have to go to this part, you are requesting what? Requesting an assessment of his workplace. You are requesting assessment of his workplace. You can say workplace assessment. Okay. So I am writing to request. Okay. I am writing to request. Uh, Yeah, I'm writing to request what? An assessment of his workplace. Okay. I'm writing to request an assessment of, okay. An assessment of his workplace. Whose workplace? Mr. Jones' workplace. I am writing to request an assessment of Mr. Jones' workplace. Okay. So now, here in the letter, you have the word assessment. Assessment is there. So do not use the same word. Okay. Do not use the same word. Change it. So, how can you change, instead of assessment, I'll write evaluation. Evaluation. I'm writing to request an evaluation of Mr. Jones' workplace. See that, finished. I'm writing to request an evaluation of Mr. Jones' workplace. How to write the same? Yeah. So... I hope you are able to follow what I am telling you. So, how to write a sentence? Okay. Otherwise, thank you for seeing Mr. Jones who requires a workplace assessment. Thank you for seeing Mr. Jones who requires a workplace assessment. Okay. Otherwise, you can say, Mr. Jones, Mr. Jones, okay? So, start with Mr. Jones. Mr. Jones, who had a severe okay, what happened here? Severe lower back strain. So you can write who was diagnosed with severe lower back strain.
requires workplace assessment. So, how to write the sentence? How are you going to develop your sentence is very, very important. I'm writing to request an evaluation of Mr. Jones' workplace. Thank you for seeing Mr. Jones, who requires a workplace assessment. Mr. Jones was diagnosed with low, severe lower back strain, requires a workplace assessment. So, anyway, you can write. Okay. Can also add some more things. Okay. Mr. Jones, who injured uh, his back. Okay. At work. Mr. Jones, who injured his back at work. Okay, requires um, a workplace assessment. Many people will write many different styles, no problem. Okay, so what you want to write, how you want to write, you can follow that way, right? So this is how you can write. Now body paragraph. Yeah. Now here what you can write. So Mr. Mr. Jones is a forklift driver. Mr. Jones is a forklift driver. Okay. So you can take this sentence. So what all sentences you can write here? So Mr. Jones is a forklift driver. Okay. Or you can say Mr. Jones has been working as a forklift driver. Okay. Mr. Jones has been working as a forklift driver. Okay. So this is the way how you can develop your sentences. Mr. Jones is a forklift driver or Mr. Jones has been working as a forklift driver. Okay. Um, so, okay, where is he working? Is working in a an organization, a company. Right. So here it is. In a large warehouse. In a large warehouse. So you can write like this. Mr. Jones works as a forklift driver in a large warehouse. You can add anything anywhere you want, not like that one. Anywhere, see, Mr. Jones is a forklift driver. Mr. Jones has been working as a forklift driver. Mr. Jones works as a forklift driver in a large warehouse, okay? So this in a large warehouse can be added everywhere. You can add here. You can add here, you can see how from small sentence to bigger sentence to the biggest sentence, how I am transforming. Okay, you should see how I am transforming the sentence structure here. Okay, yeah. Now you can write some more sentences like this. However you want to write, you can write. There is no problem at all. Then, yeah. And what, if, what other things you can write here? Okay, now next one. Um, his work demands, 
these things. Instead of requires, I'm changing the word. Okay. So, his professional responsibilities. Involve, okay, or a demand instead of requires. I'm saying involves, involve or demand or requires, okay. Prolonged sitting and occasional heavy lifting. So what I'm saying here is professional responsibilities. Demand or involve or demand or require. Okay. So include not only prolonged sitting but also, yeah, occasional heavy lifting but also. Lifting but also lifting heavy objects occasionally. See the sentences how they are developed. Okay. Now Next, you can say like this again. Um, he injured his back at work while trying to lift. Okay, while trying to lift, he hurt back lifting heavy box off at work. Yeah, he heard, changed to injured, his back at work while trying to lift, okay, a heavy box. Box, okay. Yeah. Injured his back at work while trying to lift a heavy box. You write whatever you want, you write in two or three sentences. Okay. So this should be minimum. So what we'll do is we'll control C. Yeah. We'll use here. Because in the introduction, it should not be more. So write as less as possible. Introduction, don't write too much in the introduction. So you can write in the main body paragraph. This is all about his before treatment by me. That means by the uh, doctor who is writing this letter. Right? And next one. Um, he has been... He has been, what he has been doing, okay? What he has been doing, okay? Yeah, so here. Yeah. Referral to a physio. Okay. Initially, he was given referral to a physio. For 30 days, he got. Then again, extended time of work, 30 days. Physio. So again, physio. Another 30 days. 
then again extended time of 30 days again physio so how many three 30 days 30 days 30 days so almost three months three months he has been seeing the physiotherapist okay he has been um, visiting or seeing or he has been visiting the physiotherapist for the last three months okay he has been visiting the physiotherapist okay for the last three months okay you can say a physiotherapist that's okay the physiotherapist means that particular that is also okay both are okay here okay next so three times he was given extension now what are the other things here walking 15 to 20 minutes here walking 10 minutes here walking 15 to 20 minutes increased or doubled here walking 30 minutes okay 10 minutes 15 minutes 20 minutes 30 minutes okay 30 minutes at present okay so you can say he uh, presently or currently okay presently currently uh, during this time in now currently presently okay uh, these days he walks for uh, he walks for 30 minutes you write half an hour he walks for half an hour okay on a daily basis he walks for half an hour on a daily basis okay yeah i think uh, i'm going on explaining you i'm going on giving too many things so do you think we are going in the right track do you think we are going in the right track give your a or an a if it is yes we are going on the right track let me know so that we can learn even more better sentences otherwise we'll stop here and we'll shift to something else do you think that you are getting ideas give your comment in one word please he walks for half an hour on a daily basis okay or you can say like this Ambulation for uh, almost half an hour on a daily basis has been noti noticed or observed. Ambulation has been possible for almost half an hour. Has been possible for almost half an hour on a daily basis. Yes, next. Next, what you can say? This is possible on a daily basis. But uh, he says that it is very tiresome or tiring. It's a strenuous. Okay. Uh, he considers or walking 
okay, is strenuous. Or you can say, uh, so you can say here, see they are tiring, strenuous, tiresome, okay, troublesome, with great difficulty on a daily basis, with great difficulty okay so this is the way how you can extend so that is all about a uh, second paragraph that is main body paragraph one now now okay now you should understand here how he is going on? How he is going on? Is he following the suggestions or not? Okay. Attending regular appointments. He is attending regular appointments. That means he is compliant with the physiotherapy program. Physiotherapy program or exercise program. He is compliant. Okay. He is compliant. So... Mr. Jones, Mr. Jones has been compliant with the physiotherapy, physiotherapy sessions physiotherapy yeah mr jones has been compared with the physiotherapy uh, program or physiotherapy that you can say and next so you can see here So, so walking daily, he was told to walk and he's walking daily, gradually increasing distance, okay, right, increasing, okay, increasing time and distance, earlier less time, less distance, now more time, more distance, okay. The time spent while walking and the distance covered. Okay. There. There is a gradual increase in the uh, in the dis dis in there is a gradual increase in not only the distance covered, but also the time spent while walking. Walking. The gradual increase in not only the distance covered but also the time spent while walking okay. is a gradual increase distance is increasing and also time spent in walking first 10 minutes then 20 minutes then 30 minutes like that yeah good somebody is writing the sentences very good this is what i want okay you can write your own sentences can we write it like he has extended his period of walking from 10 minutes gradually to 20 and then finally to 30 minutes? Yeah, you can write. Okay. He's able to walk, but he still feels tiredness, strenuous. Okay. Okay. 
he has been recovering or recuperating he has been recuperating from his injury okay as anticipated anticipated means expected so that is what is expected and his yeah Okay. He has been recuperating from his injury as anticipated. Okay. And next. Keenness. Keenness. to resume work keenness to resume work in some capacity uh some level some range not full level but he wants to join that's all he cannot sit at home okay keenness to re resume work has been informed or um he is eager to return to work at the earliest okay he is eager to return to work at the earliest or you can say eagerness to return to work has been notified okay he is still experiencing is still experiencing yeah he wants to work very painful patient is complained with exercises okay back is still sore back is still sore okay still in pain still in pain okay still in pain pain is still there okay so that's what we are writing here he is still experiencing yeah certain discomfort in his back okay he is still experiencing some discomfort in his back or you can say both these sentences you can join and write despite experiencing some discomfort in his back comma despite experiencing some discomfort in his back um uh, eagerness regarding work resuming resuming work resuming work or workplace resumption uh, regarding resumption of professional responsibilities has been informed notified expressed 
despite experiencing some discomfort in his back, eagerness regarding resumption of professional responsibilities has been expressed. So, quality, quality, quality. There are students who are getting 450, 440. Okay, you can also get. Okay, you can also get. Right. So, what else? Uh, so, next. Patient's bored. He's bored of monotonous. Not working. He's restless. Wants to return to work. Okay, he's experiencing boredom. He is experiencing boredom and restlessness. Okay, he's experiencing boredom and restless restlessness. And uh, hence, is eager to resume work. Different, different styles. I'm not giving the all sentences you need not write. Okay. Whichever you feel comfortable, so take those and write. Right? Hmm. Then next step. Pain after 20 to 30 minutes of sitting or lying down. Okay. So, um, pain is increasing after prolonged sitting or lying down. Um, pain is intensified. Pain is increasing, intensified. Pain is intensified after prolonged, after sitting or sleeping, lying down, after continuously sitting down, sitting, sitting up or lying down for Longer durations. Pain is intensified after continuously sitting up or lying down for longer durations. Don't you think that these sentences are quality? Okay. So you can understand here. Yeah. Pain is exacerbated by prolonged sitting and lying down. Yeah. Fine, why not? Okay. So, this will be difficult because he has to sit for a long time and he has to lift uh, heavy objects also. His body has not fully recovered to meet the workplace requirements, workplace demands. His body has not fully recovered to meet the workplace demands. Okay? Like that you can write. Mm. The next step. Um. He cannot perform uh, 
he cannot perform the official uh, duties to the fullest. Okay. He is not yet ready to, is not yet ready to uh, return to work in his previous capacity. So as a forklift driver, he cannot work and do the full duties. Okay. He cannot uh, take full charge. Okay. So what is required? He should be permitted to take to take uh, uh, to take what? Rest in between. Short intervals. Okay. to take short breaks short breaks or regular intervals okay refraining from lifting heavy objects is recommended refraining from lifting heavy objects is recommended in addition to taking frequent short intervals During work, during work, yeah, okay. Mr. Jones, employer, Mr. Jones, employer is extremely supportive. Okay. Of his um, return to work. Yeah. So, how you want to write? I have given many more sentences because this paragraph is very, very important. These are the conditions, these are the obligations. So this paragraph is very, very important. Okay. This paragraph is very, very important. So next. Paragraph three, body main body paragraph three, the occupational therapist's role. Okay. Yeah.
yeah so here what you will write uh, so uh, can you please or could you please or will you please or would you please would you mind Yeah, I would be would be extremely pleased if you kindly conduct an assessment or evaluation. Or assessment, anyone? Okay. Of oh, Mr. Jones, workplace and workplace. I would be extremely pleased if you kindly conduct an evaluation or assessment of Mr. Jones' workplace. and thereby and thereafter and thereafter uh, provide uh, suggestions suggestions okay <laughs> regarding the possible the possible responsibility possible activities a possible professional activities that can be performed that can be performed okay okay so what are the professional activities that he can be performed okay uh additionally additionally so additionally so what should be refrained from what should not be done that also is important additionally um relevant um advice okay additionally necessary advice necessary advice to maintain consistency consistency um with regard to recovery so additionally necessary advice to maintain consistency with regard to recovery would be profoundly beneficial beneficial to safeguard beneficial that is in a full stop then last paragraph last paragraph so in case in case 
comma any additional information is deemed extremely relevant comma please do not hesitate to contact me finished so you write whatever sentences you want however you want you can develop this thing okay dr dilip Hello, Dr. Dilip. Yeah, you can unmute. You can tell something, whatever you want to speak. Uh, yes, sir, it's a great session. We have learned a simple permission. But, sir, one more question. Uh, how to connect these are sentences? And uh, it is not necessary to uh, write the, mention the date of the as separate visits no need na? no need okay. no need okay, sir. that you can write in different but that's not needed now all this is same thing is going on everywhere it's the same thing so no need to write separate so we can see here also physiotherapy here also physiotherapy here also physiotherapy Everywhere it is physiotherapy. Then pain is still there, pain is still there, pain is still there. Walking is there 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Okay, distance is increasing. Okay. Yes, sir. Mm. This is a great yeah. session. We have done how to write sentences. Okay. Right. Gradually you learn more and more. Yeah, cable sharp. Keval Shah. Yes, sir. Yeah, do you have anything to speak? You haven't learned uh -huh. anything? What did you learn? Why was this session useful for you? Yes, sir. The session was very much useful and uh, I'm finding it uh, like very much difficult to write. So it was really very beneficial and helpful. I have just one question that uh, what basically what types of letter are being asked in OET? Can you just go that briefly yeah okay. so there are three types of letter one is referral one is discharge and one is transfer these are the three main types of letters in addition to this one you have updating information or creating awareness type of letters so the main things main is referral then second important is discharge then third important is uh, transfer letter these are the mostly 50% they will ask referral, 20% uh, they will ask uh, discharge, and 10% they will ask uh, transfer letter like that. And remaining 10% only is the others altogether. Yeah, Sakina. Sir, uh, could we write the, the last visit? last date like uh, today or uh, on this date the on his last visit his condition is like that like that yeah that you are already writing na? here you're already mm. writing currently means today only no mm. need to write the dates and everything okay See? here we have already said na, currently where is that currently presently yeah controllers Yeah. Now or currently, you can check those. Now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or. Uh, yeah. So you can see. This is all present things, ne? This is all present things. Mm -hmm. There's a gradual increase. He has been like this one. Okay, he's eager to return. Means now. 
is still experiencing means now still means now so currently presently only na indirectly you are telling last visit first visit second visit we need not tell all these things just tell what the information needed that's enough right okay sir yeah so yeah cable i'll give you this document no problem i'll post this document okay so now itself i'll post no problem file save file save as pdf yeah lecture notes yes yeah that is the pdf see this is the lecture notes yeah i'll be posting it here there is this yeah day 3 yeah so i am posting in the telegram channel here yeah lecture notes yeah so here i posted you can collect it from here copy post link you can click on this and you'll get the notes okay so thank you very much for watching so i have given you how to develop the sentences okay paragraph wise so that's end of the session thank you all have a nice day